So we are heading to the newest condo development right here in Tanah Merah. Feels much bigger than 893 square feet. Everything has been in immaculate condition. Very beautiful unblocked view. And if you want to live in an area where it actually encompasses live, work, learn and play and you want a brand new 3 bidder that is standing at about $1.4 million, join us as Brody Brother brings you to this project called Grandel Park Residences. Let's go! Now as you're heading into the unit, you also realise that we are actually located just right within walking distance to Tanah Merah MRT Station. Because we are just so close, you will also get to benefit from this sheltered walkway that leads you directly towards the MRT Station. I think this is definitely a great feature, especially if you are family with school-going kids. They are definitely going to benefit from this. Alright, so we are right here in this brand new 3 bedder that is standing at 893 square feet. And before we kick start, why not we quickly bring you up to speed about this location and uh, why we think this is the next up and coming region. Because as you follow me right to the balcony now, you will also notice that we are fronting towards the MRT station. Now, if you are kind of concerned about the noise level from the MRT track, fret not because in 2023, what the government is going to do is that they're going to install noise barrier and that's actually going to reduce the sound by up to 10 decibels. Now, Grandeur Park Residences is actually located right at District 16 and we are actually part of the Bedok planning region. If you have to take a look at the map towards the front, that is actually Bedok. Since it is a mature estate, it is very natural for us to find HDBs that are at about 30 to 40 years old and they are predominantly situated right at the Bedok North as well as Bedok South. And Bedok East, which is where we are standing, now this entire area at Tanah Merah slowly starts to develop right towards the tail end of 1990s and we bring you through slowly as we head back in. Now if you notice that green plot of land, that land site is estimated to launch at about 1800 $100 PSF. We're going to share with you more about what this number means. Right, so I think enough of the context, why not we head back in and we share more with you about the entire landscape right here in Tanah Merah as well as Bedok. So this project right here at Grandeur Park Residences is developed by CEL and some of the past projects include My Manhattan, High Park Residences, Park Colonial as well as Copa at Newton. Now this project TOP in 2020 and that also means that we are the youngest as well as the newest right around Tanah Merah and there are a total of 720 units right here and they are split amongst 1, 2, 3, 4 as well as a 5 bidder with some of the combination being a study kind of configuration. For 3 bidder there are a total of 184 units. We are in one of them. Now for three bedder configuration, you have three different facing, namely towards the pool facing. Of course, in terms of the distance between the blocks that are separated by the pool, you do not have this kind of distance that are otherwise separated by the MRT station. Otherwise, you will then be facing towards Bedok South Avenue 3. Now for that kind of configuration, you will then be having a bit of western sun exposure, but in exchange, because you're overlooking towards the school, you will be having this kind of configuration where you have this kind of unblocked view, where this will actually gives you the maximum level of privacy. To head towards the foyer area, now because we are actually located right at the corner of the block, actually the moment that you enter, you have this section of the wall where you can build up floor to ceiling cabinets and that's actually going to increase your storage space and uh, right over at this section, of course, if let's say you want to have your shoes placed right inside here and uh, if let's say this is not deep enough, you can easily expand it out and you have two very functional cabinets right here. And if you are into heavy cooking, of course, it does even come with a sliding panel that is of a glass. So that's actually going to allow a lot of natural sunlight that comes in. Now, I think the flexibility is great because if you are not into heavy cooking, you can easily remove this section. Once you remove this section, that's actually going to increase your entire living hall space. You can build an island that connects as part of your dining area. Or if let's say you prefer to have alfresco dining because the entire zip track has been done, you can do so. That's going to actually free up more space you can easily create this area as an additional study area. But otherwise, you can always leave it as it is. Now, everything has been provided for by the developer, the fridge, stove, and oven, and everything has been in immaculate condition because owner have not even moved in here. You have plenty of storage that lines up around the U-shaped fashion, and uh, you have the washer come dryer that is right along at this section. Sufficient pull-out drawers, along here as well as top cabinets that are already in place. Now, another very great feature is that it even comes with a window. That's where you can dispel all the smoke and it's going to make cleaning a lot easier. Now, I'm a fan of U-shaped kitchen because it is very functional and very efficient. You do not need to move around much. Everything is almost easily within reach.
once you come out towards the living hall area now along this section of the wall again if you are having a lot of items storage you still can build up cabinets along this section of the wall or if otherwise you can easily buy those kind of shelving or cabinets place it right along at this section you are still having a lot of ample space to move around and over at this section now this is where you can place your dedicated dining set can easily go up to six packs Let's head over to the balcony, check out the view and just to share with you what are some of the options that you can adopt if you want to maximize the entire balcony area because I think the great thing is that the developer have already done up the entire zip track so all you need to do is just to install your lighting, drop the decking and then you can then have the option of having alfresco dining right here or if not, you can basically just expand your entire living hall area, make full use of the balcony and enjoy this very beautiful unblocked view right here. You still have a great space for your living hall area. The span is wide enough and it feels much bigger than 893 square feet because of how the entire layout has been configured. But let's say you do not need such a huge sofa because this is currently a 3 to 4 seater pack. You can easily swap the entire direction where you can have the sofa right here. And uh, once you place your TV console towards here, you will then be able to flush entire section of the wall to be part of the TV console as well as your storage cabinets. Now right here, we are the youngest as well as the newest plot. Now of course, the last remaining plot is the one that is just right adjacent towards Tanamera MRT station. Now that plot is going to be a commercial right on the first level with the remaining being the residential development. And for the commercial space, that is estimated to yield at about 21,000 square feet of retail space. I think that is something to cheer about, especially if you want to have convenience right at your doorstep. Of course, you might be wondering, hey, why are there such a huge GLS land site that was acquired towards the tail end of 2012 to 2016. Now that is largely because of the entire live, work, learn, play concept uh, that is going to develop right around the eastern region. Of course, in terms of live, you have all these GLS land site that has already been acquired and uh, developed over the years. Now we are right smack between four major clusters because four stops down, you will reach Paya Lebar business area where you have offices right over there. And uh, of course, few stops down, you will then be at the Tampanese Business Hub. And one stop down, you will then be at Expo where you have the Changi Business Park. And last but not least, six stops down towards the future Cross Island Line, you will then reach the Aviation Park. And that's going to be one of the up and coming clusters in the years to come. Now in terms of play, not forgetting, we are actually just two stops away from Changi Airport where you have the Jewel. And not forgetting, we are also within close proximity towards the Tampanese Region Hub where you have three major shopping malls and uh, of course, one stop down towards Bedok, you will also have a lot of amenities, especially Heartbeat at Bedok, as well as Bedok Mall and Bedok Point. Now, last but not least, in terms of the learning portion, we are just within close proximity to SUTD. Now, there's the next university that is going to be right here at the eastern region. Once we take a look collectively, especially given the fact that that plot of land actually drew 15 bits, and I think that speaks volume about the kind of interest that we are looking right here in Tanamera. Our common bathroom size is decent, not too big, not too small. You have the vanity cabinets at the top as well as under sink and you have the shower screen. All these are all done by developers as well as the ventilation window. So you have a great size common bathroom right here. Now heading in towards the very first common bedroom. Now common bedroom in terms of size, I think that is decent enough. You can either place it in a study table, you can fit in a queen size bed because this comes with a sliding wardrobe. And uh, sliding wardrobe, of course, this is going to save you a lot of space. Where you do not have the swinging doors, that's going to hit into your bed. In terms of size of the wardrobe, this is floor to ceiling. But if let's say you do not need all this storage space, you can easily remove this partition. Flooring has been done so that you can configure up to your own needs. But otherwise, I think the condition is great. Internal laminate has been done, soft closure. Probably the only thing that you need to do is just to install the lights. As you can see, this is brand new. Lights have not even been installed. And uh, probably the next thing that you need to do is just the curtains. Why don't you check out the other big rooms? The other big rooms is identical in terms of the shape, size and dimension. So just to kind of give you a glimpse of how it will potentially look like, you can fit in a single, super single or up to a queen size. If you need to have more storage space, you can do so right along at the top section of the wall. But otherwise, similar to the other big rooms, lights, curtains, you're good to go. Now master bedroom, I would say, is very effectively well planned out because the wardrobe is done in a way that it is tucked towards a recessed area. You don't have any wardrobes that juts out and eat into your living space. And this is currently a queen size. You still have ample space to place in your side table. 
The beauty about this master bedroom is that it even comes with a small balcony. Zip track has already been done. Similarly, all you need to do is just to install your lighting at the balcony area. Uh, if you like to have a small study area or a dresser table, you can definitely still do so right along this section of the wall. Now coming to the last part, the master ensuite. Now in terms of space and size, this is definitely efficient and generous because you have a lot of vanity cabinet storage right at the top as well as the bottom. So in terms of your storage space, again, this is definitely very well planned out and it's a great ventilation window. So for master bathroom, just install the lightings, you're good to go. Now we're going to take a look at some of the options if you are looking for 3 beta right here at Tanamera. Now starting from the furthest away, you have East Meadows, the TOP in 2002 for a 3 beta. They are averaging at about 1.3 million. Casamera TOP back in 2009, they are averaging at about 1.45 million. But of course, for these two projects, the 3 beta they are slightly larger in terms of the overall size. As we move towards Optima TOP in 2012, Average asking price for a 3 bidder is at about $1.65 million. And for Urban Vista TOP in 2016, for a 3 bidder, they are asking at about $1.35 million. Now towards the south of Tanamera, you have Eco TOP back in 2017. Average asking price for a 3 bidder is at about $1.6 million. And for the Glitz TOP back in 2016, the average asking price is at about $1.45 million. And for our unit right here at Grandel Park Residences for a 3 bidder, we are asking at 1.4 negotiable and you can get to enjoy this brand new development almost immediately. Alright, so if you are thinking, hey, if I'm to buy into this 3 bidder, what is the kind of likely exit strategy that I'm looking at maybe 8 to 10 years down the road? So we have largely categorized into 3 main categories. Now, of course, the very first point that we are looking at is on the price cushion that we mentioned earlier on where you have the GRS 10 site that is going to launch at about $1,800 PSF in time to come. So that actually sets a very good cushion as well as buffer for you to purchase into this unit that is averaging at about $1,500 PSF. Now the next point to note is that right along Bedok South for Block 46, right up to Block 50. Now that entire zone have actually went through the SERS program. Now SERS actually stands for Selected On Block Redevelopment and this is actually one of the zones that has been identified with a high development value because if you were to look back in the past, the plot ratio used to be at 2.5 and currently the plot ratio stands at 3.5. Now the last point that we want to point out is that right beside the SERS plot of land, you have this project called Bedok Court. Now Bedok Court is currently having a balance of 60 years. At this point of time when we are shooting, we don't see any units available for sale. That unit over there, they are largely large in nature. For 3 bidder, I believe they are averaging at about 1,500 to 1,600 square feet and the price concern is going to be at about 1.5 to 1.8 million dollars depending on the type of size and configuration. And for Bodo Court, just to give you a little bit of comparison, Bodo Court land area stands at about 34,000 square meter and for Grand Duel Park residences, we are standing at about 24,000 square meters. Now in terms of the number of units right here, for Grand Duel Park residences, we have a total of 720 units whereas for Bodo Court, you are only having 280 units. Now both plots have the same plot ratio and I think if we are to give you a glimpse of the kind of units that we are able to redevelop uh, right here in Grandel Park, being a slightly smaller land than Bedok Court, but then you are having more units right here. I think this will kind of give you a glimpse of how that kind of plot can potentially be redeveloped or rezoned uh, in the time to come. But of course, if we are to take a look at this kind of comparison, we want to leave it up to you to kind of figure out how do you think that this entire area will be rejuvenated if you are to buy into Grandel Park residences. Now, last but not least, we also want to take a look at who are your potential buyers in the years to come because we are actually nestled right within two specific group of buyers, one being the landed homeowners that are within close proximity and are in time to come if let's say they want to kind of downsize but yet they want to stay within the vicinity especially with a lot of rejuvenation that's going to take shape around here. The landed homeowners will actually be one of your buyer's audience. Now the next group of buyers will then be coming from the HDB upgrade and they are actually located right at a cluster called Bedok South Horizon. With Grandel Park being one of the newest development right here, we believe that there will definitely be some level of appeal for the HDB upgraders. Now being a new development, why not we check out some of the facilities that is being offered right here at this project itself. Now for facilities, you have the 50 meters infinity pool, kids pool, aqua pool that are scattered right around the entire development, outdoor gym as well as an indoor gym, fitness studio, jogging trail, tennis courts, jacuzzi, 
various spas such as the Ice Therapy Center, the Himalayan Salt Room, Steam Room. Of course, you also have the Function Room, Theater, Games Room, and even comes with a jamming studio. One very interesting feature is that it even comes with its own childcare center. Now for shopping and amenities wise, we are situated just one stop away from the mature estate at Bedok where you have Bedok Point, Bedok Market, Jitsun Mall Bedok as well as Heartbeat at Bedok. And if you travel towards the other direction, you have Expo as well as Changi City Point which is just one stop away. And for your late night supper options, we are within short drive away towards Simpang Bedok as well as Bedok 85. For your weekend activities, we are within close proximity towards the East Coast Park as well as Bedok Reservoir. For school, within 1km, we have Temasek Primary School as well as Bedok Green Primary School. Within 2km, we have Fengshan Primary School, Yunnan Primary School, Red Swastika as well as St. Anthony Canossian Primary School. Secondary School, we have Anglican High that is just a short drive away as well as St. Anthony Canossian Secondary, Temasek Secondary School. For Tertiary, we have SUTD and that is just a 7 minutes drive away or 2 train stops away. Alright, so we've come to the end of the home tour and if you want to be in this area where it actually encompasses live, work, learn and play and to be in an area where there's going to be a lot of major transformation that's going to take shape over the next few years, you want to move into a brand new 3 bedder that is standing at 893 square feet, asking price is 1.4 million negotiable, then do get in touch with our listing team. Don't forget to click on the button below, subscribe to our channel on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram as well as TikTok channel. My name is Josh Payne from Probably Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Take care. And uh, if you have further questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Uh, so we've come to the end of the home tour. We are actually located just 